Hello my friends, today we'll be going over the new Card Pewter ADV and we will also be giving you the differences between the regular Card Pewter. I have a 1v1, I believe it's with Derek, but we will uh, go over the Card Pewter ADV and uh, the specs for it. So this is the new Card Pewter by M5 Stack. I have yet to open this or flash it with anything. We will be flashing it later. For right now, we are focusing on just how it comes stock, the differences between the other card pewter, and we'll be going over how to flash your card pewter with custom firmware from M5 Burner in the future. But I'm really excited for this. Uh, we will actually be coming out with a hat for the new card pewter, the same way we came out with the new uh, card pewter one uh, and the 1v1. Uh, there's a SPI, red SPI, uh, flash uh it's a it's a red spi sniffer and uh we have an add-on board for it if you uh didn't manage to grab a card pewter adv in time but yeah let's focus on this right now i'm so excited much stronger than i remember it this is so exciting. Ah, I've noticed something. There is no uh, Allen key that usually comes with it. So, you don't get an Allen key. Also, no tape. That makes me sad. You get a pen now. Long live the pen. Ah, the tape was, uh, was definitely had a good run. So, what is the card pewter? So, it's credit card sized. has a mechanical keyboard. Full key, crew T keyboard. Tiny TFT display that I believe is the same size. Is it the same size as the regular card computer? I believe it is the same size. It looks to be the same size. It has an ESP32 S3 brain, although I do wish it was the regular ESP32 S3. It's okay. The S3A is uh, definitely fine. But yeah, meet the new card computer ADV, a pocketable development computer that uh, is kind of like your Swiss Army knife for embedded projects. Today, we'll kind of unpack everything it does, all the specs and how it stacks up to the 1.1 and the 1. Although, damn, I, yeah, Derek definitely has the 1.1. Ah, well, if you make portable IoT tools, field testers, or just love tiny dev hardware and IoT gadgets and that are surprisingly complete, very, very surprisingly complete. Ooh, God, that's beautiful then this is for you. It's built for coding, short scripts, audio projects, lower mesh experiments, and the general uh, pen testing to go. Sort of. Kind of like that. It's a, uh, <laughs> it is a, this is very, very nice. I can tell that the infrared bulb right there, it looks like the one that's on the Kisu, as a matter of fact. I believe this might be the same IR bulb. Oh man. Yeah, so here we go. That's the these are the differences right there. You still got your micro SD slot, except uh, where you don't have GPIO, you have GPIO right there now, which is really really awesome. I didn't get a chance to actually grab the uh, the hat, uh, the Laura hat. I wish I did. Uh, hopefully that'll be coming back in stock soon because I'm really excited for that. Let's uh, take let's take a look at the difference between the back. Yeah, there we go. Take off that Grove connector. Now, if you have M5 stack, ooh, there's a, a magnets are repelling right there. I like that. Um, if you have like M5 stack modules, like the sub gigahertz uh, transmit receive modules or the RFID module, then uh, you're you're good. You're in luck. They are compatible. Although you have less uh, Lego holes than you have on the one in the 1.1 you only got two up here and two down there so uh mm, having all three is gonna be kind of tricky i don't mind but you got some new mounting holes right there oh yeah yeah you definitely got some new mounting holes uh it so that's the back well let's see what else is different you have a headphone jack now so we didn't have a headphone jack before we definitely have a headphone jack now we still got that speaker, that's nice. USB-C, still got USB-C. Uh, Stamp S3, if you have a 1.1, then yes, the Stamp S3. We still got the growth connector with the 5V in and out. 
that is very nice i like i like very much um the keyboard is huh let me click test keyboard feels the same that feels nice also, uh, the card pewter ADV has this nice shade of white instead of a shade of gray. So no shade of gray, definitely a nice shade of white. You got your button, your, your go button. Sometimes you have to use that go button and you got your reset button and you got your on and off switch. Another thing that's fair to mention is uh, you still got the magnets in the back. And you can definitely feel them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, they're definitely repelling right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Definitely still magnets there. Uh, these uh, two screws are still uh, a little bit off-center. That's perfectly fine. You, If you have the Card Pewter 1 or the 1V1, or V1.1, then you can uh, open up these uh, screws with the Allen key that comes with it. Let's go over what what else is in here. Uh, doo -doo -doo, USB C and the backpack uh, V Bat and doo -doo -doo -doo. so they you do have a bigger battery in this one. You still have the same TP forty fifty seven that charges the battery. Uh, the switch is still the same. Yeah, the battery is much larger. Yeah, what is the battery connecting here? What is the battery? Doo -doo -doo. E I I no oh, mm -hmm. that's strange. We'll have to do a teardown soon. I love this thing. So yeah, we got a headphone jack. We got the we got the the speaker. That's also nice. Let's see how the screen comes out. The fact that there's a headphone jack now is actually very nice. Because they have an MP3 firmware for this guy, and this is going to have a stock firmware, for sure. Oh my god, that is kind of bright. I missed that, that, that chime. This is the stock firmware. If you'd like to put uh, firmware like Launcher, uh, or, uh, you know, the uh, I believe it is Pirata's firmware, and um, the Bruce firmware, you will need the M5 uh, launcher, or you can flash launcher straight uh, in your uh, web browser. Oh, let's, let's check this out. I'm you. Oh, so we have an accelerometer now. That is nice. Was there an accelerometer before in the card computer? Let me, I don't remember there being an accelerometer. No, no word of an accelerometer. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Hmm. Let's uh, turn, let's actually go back. So before we had, uh, over here, just kind of tell us what's up. I believe we still have a microphone. We do still have a microphone. That is very nice. I will do same SD card. We still have the speaker. We went over that a second ago. This is, it just, it, like I've been, I've been waiting for this for a year now and I, you know, everybody, I, I'm, I, I think it goes without saying that when the M5 tab came out, we were all excited that it was going to be the next card pewter. And sadly, it wasn't. It really wasn't. As a matter of fact, I, I'm, I don't have a M5 tab, but I'm pretty sure that anybody who was able to grab an M5 tab was a, feel, a little underwhelmed because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't really a replacement for the card pewter. The card pewter has held so many people's hearts for some time now because this is just this is just amazing i've had this card pewter since launch and now i can uh, thankfully ooh, pick a script thankfully i have the card pewter adv at launch and i'm excited to what i can do with it you can record esp chat of course you have uh, your remote for the infrared you can set wi-fi set clock there is a rtc i believe keyboard I am you, Laura chat, huh, GPS. Ah, yeah, you need the Laura hat because the Laura hat has a built-in GPS. God, this is amazing. I'm really excited for a nice hat, a, a nice, nice hat. I, was, I have a couple of ideas for what I'd like the hat to be, but that will, uh, it's, uh, well, it's in development. Let's just leave it at that. I do wish it was the S3 because with the S3, you can control that little LED right there. The LED is somewhere right there. 
With the S3A, you cannot, although you do have an improved antenna, which is, um, which is nice. I, I, according to my research, I was, re I was reading something that the S3 was uh, better in a way than the S3A. And uh, although the S3A does have a longer, longer reach, I am I am a huge fan of the ESP32 S3. And if something's nice, why change it? You know, let's flash this with launcher and pick up where we left off. All right, now that we've installed launcher on here, I'm excited. I probably should have changed gloves. I've been using the gloves that I've been working with all day. Uh, over the air. Well, let me set that up real quick. All right. So, yeah, launcher works pretty fine. Let's, however, swap. Or let's, let's not swap. Let's actually give it a dedicated SD card. 32 gigs is fine, but I'm pretty sure I have a 16 somewhere. Where's my 16? There's my 16. Mm, now nah, we'll stick with 8. Eight is more than enough on a card computer, just for the record. Although 16 gigs is uh, fine too. All right, let's go next. Bad card. Uh, Bruce. Bus pirate for the card computer ADV, ah. Let's see if Bruce works. There we go. Yeah, so Bruce runs fine. 60%. Ooh, Bruce does not run fine. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Houston, we have a problem. I believe you might need to flash Bruce directly from, uh, whoa. Yeah, I believe you might need to uh, launch Bruce directly from the web flasher. This is brand new, so you got to give it a little bit of a break. That's nice. I like that. That's, that's really nice. But, yeah, that's the Card Pewter ADV. A upgrade from the Card Pewter 1 and the 1V1. Uh, what do you guys think? And as far as a hat, what would you guys be interested in seeing in a hat for the Card Pewter? I really want you guys' opinion. This is... Um, this has been a long time coming, and a lot of people, especially people in the Card Pewter Reddit community, have been excited for this for quite some time. And I have cannot tell you how excited I am to finally have this guy, where I can start playing around with those GPI opens. Now, don't expect all the firmware to work straight out the box, especially like the LoRa firmware, unless you have the LoRa hat. Um, we will be getting the LoRa hat soon. We will be playing around with that. I'm incredibly excited for that. I, 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 ooh. I'm finally, I'm happy it's finally here. But yeah, guys, that's the card pure ADV. What do you guys think?